Hello there, welcome to the ISP Spotlight, your weekly show for exploring exciting opportunities in STEM education. I'm Houston Kazurima. Now, in today's digitally driven world, cybersecurity is more than just a necessity. It is the backbone of our digital society. Absolutely, Houston, and it is exactly why today we are delving into the world of cybersecurity with a focus on Grand Valley State University's Master of Science in Cybersecurity program offered through the International Scholars Program. Join us as we explore why this course might be a great fit for you. My name is Cynthia Moses. We commence by looking at this program's overview. It is a STEM designated program tailored for tech professionals seeking to deepen their expertise in cybersecurity, creating opportunities for advancement in the field. This comprehensive curriculum equips you to tackle a wide range of cybersecurity challenges within organizations. To cap off your studies, you will complete a capstone project or thesis providing a hands-on opportunity to apply your knowledge. Now let's take a closer look at the program's highlights. This program offers a comprehensive curriculum covering critical areas like threat intelligence, cryptography, ethical hacking, incident response and compliance. You will be learning from the best. Its faculty members are industry experts with advanced degrees. Plus, you have opportunities to collaborate with industry professionals and explore cutting edge technologies. Now if you're ready to take your cybersecurity career to the next level, then this program is for you. To earn your Master of Science in Cybersecurity at Grand Valley State University, you will need to complete a total of 33 to 34 credits. This coursework is split into four areas, which include foundation courses which cover 0 to 4 credits, co-courses with 21 credits, electives that take 3 to 9 credits, and a capstone project that accounts to 3 to 6 credits. Now let's delve deeper into the coursework. Starting with the foundation courses, all students are required to complete two core courses, that is fundamentals of software practice and networking fundamentals. These courses provide a solid foundation for your cybersecurity studies and are worth a total of four credits. But here is a bonus. If you have strong existing skills in these areas, you may be legible to waive these requirements by taking a proficiency test. A successful score on this proficiency test can save you time and credits. Now let's talk about the courses. These essential courses make up to 21 credits of your program. You will take seven courses, each worth three credits. The courses include secure software engineering, applied cryptography, information security principles, data security and privacy, digital forensics and investigations, data analysis for cybersecurity and computer networking. Next up is your elective courses. These courses offer flexibility to tailor your program to your specific interest. You'll need to complete at least three elective credits. Now if you didn't take the foundation courses or you chose a project instead of a thesis for your capstone then you'll need to take up to nine elective credits. The best part is that you have a wide range of options. Any computer information system courses except the foundation courses that you took can count as an elective. So whether you want to delve deeper into a specific cybersecurity area or you uh, want to explore something new then you've got plenty of choices finally let's talk about the capstone experience this is your chance to apply everything you've learned so you have the option to choose a project or a thesis both options are worth three credits if you choose a thesis you will complete three stages one research preparation this phase involves laying the groundwork for your research two a master's project here you will conduct your research and analyze your findings lastly a master's thesis you will write comprehensive documents summarizing your research and conclusions now you're ready to embark on your cybersecurity journey and wondering where the program is offered and the classes held well the classes are held at grand rapids campus in allendale michigan in the usa as an international student on f1 visa you're only allowed to choose a traditional on-campus full-time experience so you're ready to dive into the world of cybersecurity Fantastic. Before we get too excited, let's talk about the requirements you need to get into this program through our program. Now, the good news is here at the International Scholars Program, we have a robust career advisory team and a school admissions department to make sure you are fully equipped for the application. To be considered for admission, you will need a bachelor's degree from an accredited college or university in the US or the equivalent of this degree from another country. Your academic records, which are transcripts from every college you've attended. A statement of purpose on why you are perfect fit for this program, at least two letters of recommendation would be great and an updated resume or CV to showcase your skills and experience. 
Now, when you choose to pursue your master's in cybersecurity at Grand Valley State University through the International Scholars Program, you're not just getting a top-notch education, you're also benefiting from the institution rates. That means you pay a significantly lower tuition fee compared to other international students. Typically, institution is offered only to students who are residents of the state that the school is in, so it's like getting a hometown discount even though you might be from a different country. Now, beyond that, through the International Scholars Program, ISP, you get priority in processing your admission because Grand Valley State University is a partner university for the International Scholars Program. That's right. So with cybersecurity becoming an integral part of our daily lives, a master of science in cybersecurity opened doors in countless industries. Armed with this degree, you'll be equipped for a variety of exciting career paths, including cybersecurity architect, cybersecurity engineer, digital forensics analyst, network security engineer, cybersecurity analyst, computer and information systems manager and that's just the tip of the iceberg the opportunities are practically endless in today's digital world now just as cybersecurity spans the breadth of the digital realm so do job opportunities and interest in this career you want to explore the path of this high-ranking master's program at Grand Valley State University and we here at the International Scholars Program are ready to hold your hand along every step of the way from career advisory to your admissions process relocation and your entire master's journey the ISP is your partner in realizing this cybersecurity dream so to join ISP we offer two options regular and private Let's start with the regular option. This option is open to individuals in Kenya and Zimbabwe. To qualify, you will need a C plus average in KCC for Kenyans or nine points in A levels for Zimbabweans. But that's not all. You will also need an undergraduate bachelor's degree with a minimum 2.8 GPA plus a satisfactory GMAT score of 445 out of 805 or GRE score of 298 out of 340. Then we have the prime option this option is open to everyone regardless of where you are from similar academic standards apply a c plus average in kcse for kenyans nine points in a levels for zimbabweans and an equivalent of c average in high school for the rest of the world you will also need an undergraduate bachelor's degree with a 2.8 gpa the great news no gmat or gre is required for the prime option so students enrolled in the regular option receive full funding for relocation, tuition, and living expenses. Those in the prime option are entitled to full tuition and living expenses as well as partial funding for relocation costs. Right. Now it is important to note that we do not accept work experience as a substitute for academic qualifications. Now remember you can dive deeper into our program and learn more by visiting our website www.internationalscholarsprogram.com and download our handbook and you can also follow us on our socials that is Facebook. Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, X, and Instagram, all at International Scholars Program. Right, thank you so much for joining us on the Spotlight today. We hope to catch you next week as we explore another STEM course available for you at another university. You've been watching the ISP Spotlight Show, brought to you by the International Scholars Program. Join us next time for more enriching insights, discoveries, and guidance as we explore courses, universities, and career paths to illuminate your STEM master's journey toward the future you've always desired.